When I was a high school student as a sophomore, I was signing up in our gymnasium. There's a big you know, sign up day to get your classes for the following year. And I was hanging out at the Votech table. That was like the dark side. And I had a teacher and a guidance counselor yell at me across the gymnasium saying, Chamberlain, you're throwing your life away. And as determined and competitive and bullheaded as I am, I decided to say, yeah, well, I'm gonna do it anyway. So that started my path down that road. So that stigma, Kids who went to Votech or vocational technical centers didn't go on to college, they went straight into industry, went to blue collar, if you will, manual labor type jobs. And that's what's changed. We don't, that's not the focus. You have options to go every direction that you would like to go. That's a huge shift in 20 years. It's a bit sad, but I enjoy running into people today, 50 years later, who still have that same idea. Those are stigmas that shouldn't be here because right now the crisis that the state of Vermont is in for workers, for professionals in all of our fields that we teach right here right now is, is critical. We need the students coming through CTE. Every single one of them. And we need them to stay in Vermont and grow Vermont. Every year we're trying to do better, we're trying to improve, we're trying to move forward, we're pushing the boundaries. We have huge expectations for our teachers. I don't hand them exactly what they have to teach, and I don't tell them exactly what they have to teach. I want them to bring that passion to the table, because when they bring that passion, that's when it takes off. So 20 years from now, my hope is that CTE is the core and the center, the nucleus of education. Tech kids are the ones that are gonna rule the world, so I just see that that's, that's the way you prove it, right? <laughs>